Remember, remember, the 5th of November, the Arma, her, her, and Tundra's new plot. I know of no reason why the past of a season should ever be forgot. So, with that out of the way, hey, hey, fellas, and I'm still trying to take things easy, easy, need to help ease in this month for fairly obvious reasons, and so I thought I would do like a Pokemon Vlog on at least three hey, major topics I would like to address just for the time being, and so might as well get this started, yeah. So, first off, off is, off is the, the recent premiere of the epilogue of Pokemon Twilight, Twilight Wanes, like, and that's on top of the image of Tommy and John, the, uh, the, one of the main animators shared, shared online. It turns out this is a new, who, who shorts, which features, features events and content from the, and the expansion pass, both the chapters, hers, Other of Armor and Crown Tundra. I'm emphasizing just those for now, but I will come back to that in a moment. It actually involves on Leon on on trying to gather everyone on on that's been encountered heard so far and I actually kinda like how how they handled it again, how this all, like, not just including, like, Master Mustard, who Leon trained with, like, a little bit of spoiler, I don't know if I not played it yet. No, nothing too major, though. As well as, as Avery and Clara, and the way they capture personalities is fantastic. I did not see when this is getting dubbed in English, I mean, I guess it might be a little bit of a bonus to make up for the fact they had to push those things from the Fifth Chanter back onward due to this pandemic we're in just be sure to wash your hands and please so and i'm still working on playing the crown tundra tundra but i'm really liking how they just has the little bit of appearance from um peony as well as as his daughter i mean I'm not gonna mention too much about the lux right now but once again it's fantastic animation and if they ever wanted to make hey, something else like this, I'm open to the idea. Yeah, I mean, no matter what which form I take. Yeah. On that note, notes mean yet more sales updates have come through since I was expecting these to see how to get here a little bit ago, but as it turns out, now Pokemon Sword and Shield are up to 19 million copies worldwide combined. I mean, this data, uh, was collected on as of September thirtieth of this year, here. So it's before the Crown Tundra went live. So maybe we'll see things things keep selling, Helene. Because despite I had some tragic claims otherwise, it's clear to me that hey, I think the legacy of this house is going to be more than some trees, and the texturing does not bother me. But a reminder, I still play and enjoy games from early years of these was eight bit sixteen bit days. Is. And they're still one of the best selling games of the console and they even outsold Super Mario Odyssey. That's fascinating. And they've also oh, managed to join in the ranks of the of the Wild, oh, which is at 96.74 million. And so. And Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. Ultimate did indeed just pass 21 million. Animal Crossing New Horizons outsold at 26 million, and the top selling title is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at 28.9 million, almost 29 million. But Animal Crossing could be able to surpass it fairly soon. I mean, who knows? Count them all. Sorry, kind of excited here. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't have anything, one thing in particular for this third topic, but I will. I'll state that every day the 25th anniversary series is going to get much closer. I don't like feeding into rumor mill. I usually don't address it too often. Often. But that's one thing you ought to take about these rumors. They might be true and they might not. A lot of them aren't. Some of them proven true later. But I definitely will not object to more content revisiting previous generations or even a full on new title. So, and with this being the case, is 
I definitely would not object to a Sinnoh remake at all. I mean, given, given how there's only a little bit hit left to fill, hell, hell, and, and this trend, and uh, that we have, in these two games alone now, access to, up to about 640 hit monster right out of the box, I mean, so eight times more than that Bakugan game, which, spoiler alert, is not very good. Uh, so, and personally, for the bundles, I don't think the box art looks that bad. I mean, I understand the tag is kind of weird, but it's hardly as, as bad as like some of the new who sports box. Like, keep having to remind myself that, of that that's actually something EA is not for, not some knockoff you'd find in like in a market stall somewhere. Here. But, and that also means that it'd definitely be a good time of thing for anyone who's not played them yet and wants to have all the content they can. I mean, I definitely wasn't deterred by $30 someone who actually has opted into both Smash Passes so far as well as the auto expansion, and which is roughly the same going rate of the ballpark there. So, what could be next? I mean, I guess we're about to find out, and I, I don't know about any third chapter after coming, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's more likely that it'll be just like a one-off, like with the auto expansion and and with maybe the champion trials, as of as of Breath of the Wild. So, but in the off chance there is something, maybe there'll be a funky mode. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I just thought that I still think the Galeum Zapdos reminds me a lot of Espresso and Reggie Drago reminds me a lot of Claptrap, as that Donkey Kong me has shown. So now I'll be off for now, and make sure to finish the count later. Hmm.